Hi, this is Michael from Expands VR, and in this how-to episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to utilize enums. Enums, or enumerations, are a powerful tool that allow you to create your own variables based off an integer value. And in certain instances, this can allow you to make your code both more readable and less prone to error. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, click that notification button down below to make sure you are notified whenever I post a new tutorial for you. So I've set up a sample scene here with our player and a few collectible objects that he's gonna be able to grab as he moves along. And just to show you as a demonstration, So we have three different objects that he can pick up. Now I've already created a few scripts to help us get started. We have a player script, which is going to handle our interaction with the objects. We have an item class, and then we have three other classes, the ammo, energy, and health, which all derive from our item class. Now jumping into Visual Studio, Looking at our item class, it simply gives us a name for the item, a reference to our player script, and then just simply destroys the object once it's collided with. Now, each one of our pickup classes does exactly the same thing at the moment. They override the old on trigger enter, they then execute the base function. In this case, it was to destroy the item. And then depending on which one it is, it runs the correct function from the player. So in each case of the player, we have a set health, set energy, and set ammo function. And the player class itself has a serialized field for the health, energy, and ammo, and a reference to the two different particle systems that we're gonna be using. One for the health and one for the energy pickup but we're not gonna bother with the ammo one for this one. Now, there are three different ways that we can use the enums in this scenario to make things a lot easier for us. The first one being that we have these items. They're giving us a set amount depending on which one they are. So for instance, with our health pickup, we are sending across 50 health every time one of these is picked up. Now, what would you do if you wanted to have in the game, say a small health, a medium health, a large health, etc.? You could go create an uh, individual class for each one, say small health pickup, medium health pickup. You could have a serialized field uh, showing the health amount, and then you could just simply reference it. Or we can make it a little bit neater and cleaner. So what we're gonna do is create our first enum. So this one we're gonna call public enum. And what we're gonna call it in this case, health size. And we're gonna declare each one, small, medium, and large. We are then going to declare ourselves a health size variable, which is coming from our enum there. Call it health size and save. Now let's see what this is allowing us to do in the inspector. So right now we can see in the inspector here that we have a new option, our health size. And as you can see, it is exactly how we have picked it in there, small, medium, or large. Now we just need to give it a bit of a logic to pass over to our player. So in our on trigger enter, we're gonna use a switch statement. And in this case, it's gonna be our health size. And then we just use our health size enum. And now we can use one of the options. In this case, we're gonna use small. And then we can do the same thing for our next one case. Health size dot medium. And 
Now with all that set up, we can now take this out. Actually, no, sorry, we'll keep that in. What we'll do here is have an integer health amount. equals 50, 100, health amount equals 200, and this one can be And here we'll return the health amount. So now if we go to our health pickup here and duplicate it a couple of times, we can give each one of them a different value. They're small, medium, and a large one. So if we click on our player, and we keep an eye on his health, here's gone up by 50, this one's gone up by 200, and this one's gone up by 100. So there we go, nice and easy. Now what we need to do is try and set up our animation. And we do that depending on which one of the pickups we grab. So first thing we need to do is actually create a function for it. So it's gonna be public void play pickup animation uh, FX. And what we need to do is check which pickup we have and then play correct animation uh, FX. So at the moment, we have this string field here for the item name to let us know what sort of type it is. But what we can actually do is set this up as an enum as well. And we know we've got ammo, health, and energy. So instead of having a string item name, we will have item type, item type. And so that the other inherited classes can uh, use it. We'll set this as protected. So in this one, we've also got three functions that are doing pretty much the same thing. They're just adjusting one of the uh, mounts that we have based on what is passed into them. So we can actually make this a little bit more streamlined. So we do adjust stat. And what we're going to ask them to do is pass in, and we'll need a reference to this as well. Actually, no, we won't need that. And integer for adjustment mount. So once again, we're going to do another switch statement for item type. Item item type dot ammo
and you can see by the fact that we've got these already built in that there's no way for us to make an error with this. So what we want to do for here is our ammo and just to double check this is taking up 26 lines of code So here we're almost the same, except for the fact that we've also got a um, checking for a error. But more importantly now, what we can also do is we can actually have here, well there's visual effects. And we can say play so we've already done that we've checked which pickup we have at this point here and then we can play the correct one and that's just simply VFX dot play Oh, and of course we need to pass in item type. Oh, and we need to call that correctly as well. And that should be all the errors. So let's just quickly get rid of these two here. We don't need them anymore for this demonstration. Ammo pickup is correct. Item type ammo. Item type health. And item type energy. And so you can see again, just how easy it is to do this. And there we go, perfectly done. So there you've seen just a couple of different examples of how you can use enums to clean up your code and make things a lot easier. You've seen how they can look in the inspector to make it easier for other people to see your code as well. So if you're working in a team, um, a level designer is gonna much appreciate um, having enums to select from in the inspector rather than say numbers. And if you're using strings for something similar, that can definitely cause problems along the way. And you'll definitely be seeing me use other examples of enums in many of my other videos, especially in the how-to series where we're, using, where we're looking at some more intermediate level type of coding. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share to help grow our beautiful Unity community. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification button below to make sure you get to see our next video. See you shortly.